The state Supreme Court race has been called and Justice Rogensack is victorious. You'll hear from her as election coverage starts now. Well, today is the spring election. Voters all across Wisconsin weighing in on 6,700 offices, 76 referendums. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Eric Franke. The results are running at the bottom of your screen. You can also find them at channel3000.com. One of the two statewide races for Supreme Court justice between incumbent Justice Pat Rogan, Sack and Marquette Law School Professor Ed Fallone. And this race has been called for Justice Pat Rogan, Sack just about 10 minutes ago, 10 more years on the state's highest court. We have live team coverage with the candidates. The night team's Margot Span is in Milwaukee with Ed Falone's campaign. But first, Theo Keith in Fitchburg with the victorious Pat Rogan. Sack Theo, the mood. <laughs> Eric, yeah, big night. This uh, race has just been called, so it's kind of been a mad rush in the past couple of minutes. Justice Rogensack speaking to us, the media, claiming victory as the AP's called the race. And just now she'll be speaking in a few minutes uh, to about 40 supporters or so who have gathered here. It was a pretty low-key election night party. And as you'll know, an incumbent has uh, only once lost in the past four decades in a Supreme Court race. That was in 2008. Incumbents are pretty safe, and indeed, uh, Justice Rogensack was pretty safe in this particular case as well, uh, ultimately winning with by a margin of uh, 60 to 40 or so at this point. She told us just a few minutes ago that the keys to her victory were running a positive campaign and also the experience that she has on the bench. Part of it is that I've got a reputation for being a fair and even-handed justice throughout the whole campaign. No one has pulled out an opinion I've written and said it was biased or not well thought out. So, you know, I've worked very, very hard uh, all the time that I've been on the Supreme Court and for the seven years before that on the Court of Appeals. So, you know, I really think I've benefited from that hard work. And so again, about 40 supporters here are waiting for the justice uh, to talk. Some of the numbers coming in, obviously Ed Falone had a very large lead in Dane County, but that was not enough to overcome the rest of the state is a, a pretty wide margin here. And again, that positive campaign and the experience that she had, she's crediting right now.